All right, all right. Uh, my name is Leo Vassilou, but you can call me Leo Vassilou. Now, um, at one of the talks this morning, I heard somebody drop a couple of F-bombs, and I said, oh, we can do that here? So you guys are in trouble. Just kidding. So we've got a couple of minutes to talk about a couple of key concepts leading into a talk that Dawn and I are giving here in a couple hours uh, about uh, observability, designing observable systems, which I won't uh, spoil too much, but uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, as far as this talk, though, uh, the two concepts I want to load, kind of load in, if you will, are change and Simpson's uh, paradox. So the first question I have for everyone in the room is, very simply, please give me the length, width, and height dimensions of the ice cube from which this puddle of water came. So maybe somebody's visioning a tray of ice cubes, somebody says one by one by one, you know, maybe you start thinking about some of those thoughts, but, um, but the, 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 the idea here is that you, you, you really can't, right, because it it's changed from what it was before. It actually came from a uh, big-ass glacial size IQ, uh, ice cube in uh, this beautiful lake island in, in Russia, right? <clears throat> to, to reinforce, though, please now tell me how much milk did it take to make this cake? It's a trick question because I use cream, Right? Then, I mean, if you guys remember from your physical science classes, uh, physical change, uh, chemical change, things like that. No, it's all well and good. But, but the idea is that it's changed from what it was before. You know, you took some inputs, applied some magical process, and we got some type of output. And now we think about data and how it changes into information, different forms, types, things like that. Um, what I'd like for you to retain at this point is that data irreversibly, irrevocably changes into information. There's no going back. So unless you keep the raw data, you cannot turn it into new information, right? So do me a favor, remember that. This next one here, Simpson's Paradox. Uh, Wikipedia for the text, also credit for the, the, the images on the right there. Um, but the top left, you know, so I, I wanted to add this one in. When, uh, when subsets of data give different conclusions, then they're supersets. So two lines, Look like they're going up and to the right, but when you look at them in aggregate, the trend's actually going down. All right? So now, making it a little, let's kind of apply this a little bit. We've got some, uh, some RUM data from, uh, from a user base. Here we're looking at a global view, uh, hour of day, 24 hours, so midnight on the left there, all the way to 11 p.m. on the right, noon's in the middle. Looks like uh, peak starts about 3, 4. <clears throat> Folks are waking up, start using your property. They do whatever it is to do, about 5, 6, 7. They wind down, they go home because people only buy things at work, right? Buy things at work. And then they go to sleep, and then the pattern rinse and repeats. But now what we're going to do is if we look at, say, North America versus EU, we see that the conclusion that we may have drawn about what's peak is actually different. So slow down here a little bit because here's how I'd like for everyone to think about this, internalize this. So pick... Um, Pick a dimension, pick an attribute. So we'll start with geography. So United States. Now pick a, pick a, a platform uh, operating system. So iOS versus Android. So, you know, Android. Pick now Pick now a uh, browser. You know, is it Chrome? Is it built-in Safari? So I don't know, pick Chrome. Uh, so what are we, three, three levels deep? And, and think about all the different levels, all the different dimensions that come with the internet, and you could start to see how complex it is. And when you think about now predictive analytics, when we talk about bringing it back to data, one second, there we go. Instead of having to know about all those different levels, all those different dimensions, all predictive analytics is, is the idea that your tool will surface what you need to know for you without you having to go in all those different levels and all those different dimensions. But to really hit the point home, my question is, what did I look like before this picture was taken? And the answer is, is you really don't know because I changed from what I was before. 
And the night did not get much better than the day. Thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the time at the show.